Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ivan Captain. I am back with another weekly tech update. Uh, this is the part, or you can say, episode 19 of it. So yeah, one more episode, then we're gonna be on the 20th episode. So without any further ado, let's quickly get started. Starting from the ASUS, uh, finally ASUS Zenfone 8 series is going to be coming in India really soon. On the 28th of February, the ASUS Zenfone 8Z is going to be launching in India at 12 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So yeah, if you are ready for that phone, compact size the device which looks really nice and it's gonna be coming in India really soon. A great news regarding the Infinix Zero 5G and uh, the phone is going to be receiving the Android 12 support and this phone is going to be receiving two OS updates and three years of the security badges as per the company and the uh, Android 12 is going to be arriving on this phone by the August, August of 2022 which is a really nice thing. The phone was shifted with the Android 11 out of the box. Looking for a wireless neckband for yourself, Yamaha has launched one in India with the pricing of around 5,900 rupees. It is a wireless neckband with a lot of good things and if you know Yamaha is known for that sound and lot of different targeting things over the music system thing. IQ 9 series is finally unveiled in India with a real really good specification, really really good pricing. If you have to talk about the IQ 9 Pro, it is priced at a aggressively higher price. It is priced around 64,990 INR rupees. Then if you have to talk about the IQ 9, it is priced around 42,990 rupees. And if you have to talk the IQ 9 SE, yes, it has been came down in India also. It has been priced around 33,990 INR rupees, which is a really nice one. The phone actually looks really nice, although especially talking about the iPhone 9 Pro. There are a lot of things inside the phone which is a really really good for the camera and a lot of different things. You got the dual stabilization and a lot of good good things on it. Samsung Galaxy S21 FE edition is receiving some of the bugs or the refreshing rate. It has been becoming slow down all the typings and that all stuff. It is a issue and a lot of people have seen that so it might be a big bug or the display and that all the settings. So Samsung's Galaxy A53 5G specification now you can see the processor has been leaked out. This phone is going to be powered by the um really really nice base processor 1200 from the Exynos itself. This phone is going to be coming in India really soon. It's going to be having a 5G capability. 13 5G bands are expected for this phone. Also on the top of it, um Samsung Galaxy M33 is going to be launching by the March. There were some rumors regarding launching in February, but it had been taken to the March. So let's see when we're gonna be seeing M33 in India. Donald Trump has launched its very own application known by the truth. This application is basically its own application and there are a lot of waiting lists and it has been seen on the App Store. And uh, there aren't some leaks regarding it has been launched on the Play Store because I have searched and it wasn't found it. Anyways, it was been also spotted for the app of the day on the Apple App Store, which is kind of a thing, but later on it wasn't seen. So yeah, Donald Trump launches Truth Application. Oh, X4 Pro 5G is been set to be launching on the February 28th. It has been sorted with the three different different colors. All the specification has already been leaked. It's gonna be a 100 megapixel, 120 hertz display, and that all stuff. Amazon's Grand Gaming Day sale has been already kicked off with a, one of the greatest things, HP Victor. It has been priced at one lakh nine thousand triple nine INR rupees. So if you are looking for one of that good looking ones, then this is a good looking for you also. On earbuds, so I can say that. Earbuds they have been launched in India with active noise cancellation built in Alexa and a really good battery arc of battery life. And the pricing is of 12,000 INR rupees. It is the second generation from that. IQ has launched a gaming type of monitor with a brightness of 800 nits, which is supported for the PlayStation and the Xbox series, or you can say the console related display it is priced around 87,500 INR rupees which is kind of aggressive side and uh, it is also a 4k based monitor it has launched that really really good looking but a really 
undecidedly smartphone known by the Tecno Spark 8C. This phone comes with a 6GB RAM, 3GB virtual RAM, and this phone's one of the greatest capability is it at the 10,000. It is around 8 below 8,000 also. Um, this phone has a 30 megapixel plus 2 megapixel 5000 mAh resolution in battery and the processor hasn't given up. Uh, uh, there are some rumors that this phone has the 90 hz display also and what a drop notch. So yeah, it's a really really nice smartphone. The processor is gonna be a really nice. Also, let's see um this pricing is gonna be made or it's gonna be changing. Let's see. Huawei's MacBook or you can say the laptop from the Huawei D15 Visor Edition has been launched. And the pricing is kind of aggressive. This is the Ryzen Reed edition, and yeah, it's around 45,000 converting from the Chinese currency. Now, has launched the Pro Buds N3, and the pricing is quite aggressive 800 INR rupees. Got the dual pricing supported, and it has been launched already. 800 INR rupees, which is a really nice thing. So, if you are looking for a name brand for yourself, you can grab this one, which is a really nice looking call. If you are looking for affordable based cloud OS based TV from the Taiwa, they have launched one. It is under 20,000 IM rupees, uh, 32 inches and 39 inches, which is a really, really good pricing and really, really nice. Also, my headphones bigger. <laughs> Anyways, the it got the voice assistant support also and 32 and 39 inches under 20,000 and complete full HD displays there. Cloud OS is also there, so which is a really nice thing. Operating system which is a really good thing. Yeah. Launched the two new laptops shift by shift with the 12 generation Intel based processor, which is a really nice thing. Has been launched, so if you are looking for one, they have launched one. Make sure to check it out. Foldable smartphones have been launching really, really fastly in a lot of different different market. And the portable smartphone market has been sneaked up with a 264% of huge growth. A reward has been gamed out and uh, by the 2025, this market is going to be of $5 billion and a lot of different different companies had even not entered the foldable market. Let's see what we're going to be seeing in 2025. A huge foldable market. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section. The latest or you can say the upcoming iPhone 14 Pro rumors have been there. It will be powered by the 8GB RAM, which is a really, really nice thing. And it kind of say it won't be a competition to a lot of Android based devices. And over the 6GB RAM on the iPhone 13 Pro, it got some really good optimization and all stuff. And 8GB won't be a really, really high. Uh, there are some users who use it even that 6GB on the iPhone 13 Pro. And let me know in the comment section. We add a Post detection or the Apple Fitness or you can say Apple Fitness Plus for the AirPods and uh, it's gonna be uh, making sure your fitness is on wall and really nice thing. Also on top of it, Apple has been fined around five billion million dollars in Europe regarding some of the issues with the touch books and yeah, there are a lot of things going inside Europe regarding Apple and Europe. So seven and seven Pro first renders had been seen around the internet. This one is also going to be powered by the Google's, uh, not the Google's uh, Tensor B2 processor, it, that's a different thing. It's going to be having a model of the Exynos, or you can say the processor of the Exynos. It is a code which is on your screen and uh, two smartphones are going to be coming, Google Pixel 7 and Sam Pro. Big lenses are being seen in this rumor. So yeah, it's a kind of a first leak. Let's see what we're going to be seeing. So X70 Pro Plus uh, was a kind of a really good smartphone. The successor of it, Vivo X80, X80 Pro, X80 Pro Plus is going to be launching. It's going to be powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 based processor. And the score has been also seen around. It is over 1 million and uh, optimization and that whole thing are the different thing. This phone is expected to launch really soon in the 2022 only. Let's see. V23 E 5G has been launched the very first E series based smartphone from the Vivo in the V series as we launched in India. The price is around 25,000 and later on there are some rumors that it got to go to 28,000. Vivo Next 5 is going to be launching really soon but however there are some rumors this one won't be known by the Vivo Next 5. It's going to be known by the Vivo X Note and uh, kind of say Vivo is also going to the X series in that era of the smartphones. Yeah. After a lot of lot of rumors, Oppo Find X 5 series has been launched. Up. Oppo Find X Lite, Oppo Find X 5, Oppo Find X 5 Pro has been launched. Oppo Find X 5 is powered by the Find X 5 Lite is powered by the Mediatek Dimensity 900. Oppo Find X is only powered by the 888 Plus and the Oppo Find X 5 Pro 
is powered by the uh, not the Tamman series Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Yeah, the phones look really nice and uh, are powered by the My Silicon from which is really nice thing. Also on the top of it, they got the Hasselblad branding. Also on the top of it, Oppo has launched the Oppo Pad and it looks really nice you got that dual dome design on the back which is a really nice looking design it is powered by the snapdragon 870 to processor which is a really nice thing so it's gonna be expected to launch in india 876 has been launched with a 90 hertz display 30 megapixel to 2 megapixel dual camera cameras this phone is powered by the um, not the dimensity snapdragon 680 processor which is a really nice thing the pricing is under 20,000. And soon there are some rumors it can't be shipping to India really so Realme 9 Pro Plus has been launched on OIS camera 15 megapixel OIS camera Realme 9 series uh, you can say has been launched on. and uh, the phones look really nice over the design and all purposes texture of the phone really nicely over the camera purposes OIS and that all things that are some really really uh, kind of a depressive news have been coming so OIS isn't working over the video recording and uh, real me trying to optimize that all things but sometimes it works some users don't get a proper optimization over the OIS so let's see what we're going to be seeing also on the top of it Nano 50 has been launched up Mediag Helio G96 processor you have 2.12 50 megapixel to the camera 2 megapixel micro and depth sensor are there so yeah the phone looks really nice although it uh, it looks really like a realme 8 if you remember the book prime global edition has been launched up it got the 11th generation i5 based processor from the intel and uh, the launch date or you can say the timeline is set but it's gonna be a completely rebranded version and coming to india really so realme pad shined with a 8 megapixel real camera setup and it got the single camera which is a real big camera and uh, there is only some small part of design look only and there uh, are some rumors it's gonna be around 7 inches only and it's gonna be a completely budgetified based uh, tablet from the realme uh -huh. from the realme and uh, it is v25 realme gt neo 3 realme narzo 60 it is going to be launching in india realme narzo 60 is gonna be a uh, delayed and uh, it's gonna be around uh, june or july launching really soon also on the top of it, the GT Neo 3 is priced or you can say this is the expected price around 26,900 rupees which is a really nice thing. V25 is going to be a 5G based processor which is going to be a budgetified 5G based phone. Motorola's Edge 30 Pro 5G has been on in India which is a really really good smartphone. It is powered by the 8 Gen 1 60 megapixel VA camera setup, 50 megapixel plus 50 megapixel dual camera or white android also on the top of it it's got the macro and there is a 2 megapixel depth sensor it is around 50,000 and it got the snapdragon 8 gen 1 optimization has been told it over the things over the thermals and there are issues android well are off the box which is a really nice thing yeah that were some of the classic news from a lot of different different big tech companies that and I will make sure if I will be finding the links of the products which I told you in the video or you can say told you in the video in the description if possible then I will be putting them. Also on the top of it um, we are added a lot of different different videos regarding the iPhone 13 Pro reviews which we want to be saying to you and uh, yeah you can definitely check those out. By the way we got a really good videos by this week also Vivo T1 very first T series based smartphone in India links up in the icon make sure to check those videos out by the way this was the captain diaz we were already watching caras and diaz so make sure to like comment what what are your thoughts regarding a lot of different videos which you saw and i will catch you in the next video like share subscribe stay safe stay connected peace out